as it still includes two new features to import all column-based plate loads either directly from an ETAPS model or from any analysis software via an Excel spreadsheet. These new integration features allow you to design all the column-based plates in a building using ASDIP steel, regardless of the analysis software that generated the loads and the geometry. This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to review these new integration features, showing how to use them to complete your design in a fraction of the time. Let's get started. To import the base plate loads from ETAPS, open ASDIP steel, the project manager, then go to Design, Import from ETAPS. Select the model that you want to open. This is a four-story building, 16 columns. This plan view shows the grade level. So ASDIP steel will import the loads at the base plates. After a few seconds, ETAPS closes and all the information is transferred to ASDIP steel. In the project manager, nodes for all the imported base plates will be created in the tree under the base plate branch. Each node represents one column base plate in the building, meaning that all the base plates of the building were imported into ASDIP. You can click on any of the nodes to get access to the calculations for that specific base plate. For example, let's open the base plate C1. ASDIP still imported the column size W14 by 90 and also all the loads. Let's go to the loads tab. So all these loads were imported already. Dead, life, roof life, snow, wind, with all the steps to account for the accidental eccentricities and the application of the simultaneous bidirectional loads. Same for seismic. A typical column based plate will be subject to vertical loads, to moments, and to horizontal loads. If we consider all these loads and uh, the different load cases and the large number of columns that can be found in a typical steel building, entering all these loads by hand would take a lot of time. In this example, we have imported 1,760 base plate loads for the 16 column steel building shown, just with a click of a button. From here, the user can optimize the base plate size and also complete the design of the anchorage in a fraction of the time. Let's go back to the project manager. If you don't have it tabs, but you use another analysis software, you can also import the base plate loads into ASIP still using the provided Excel template. The first step is to download the spreadsheet template, go to design, then download Excel template. And this is the template that we have prepared for this purpose. At the bottom, you have some tabs, base plate geometry, here in this, in this tab, you enter all the geometric information, the base plate name, then the column size, then the support width, support length, and then the coordinates and the material properties, FY and F prime C. In the next tab, base plate loads, here you enter the base plate name, then the load case and the step number. We already explained that the step number refers to the different cases of wind and seismic due to the uh, accidental eccentricity and the simultaneous loading in orthogonal directions. Then you enter the load P, the vertical load, moments in both directions, and then the horizontal loads in both directions. Also in this template, we have the column geometry and the column loads. These two tabs refer to a previous feature for the column design. It was already implemented, but when you download the template, all this information is in just one file. The template was populated with an example to simplify the input in the corresponding format, but you can easily just enter your own information instead of uh, the default example. To open the Excel file, just go here, import from Excel. Then specify the file that you want to open. And then as it still reads information and shows the nodes in the tree. Here again, you can open any of the base plate just by clicking on the corresponding node. And this is the template of the base plate calculation. For this example, this base plate has these loads, dead, life, roof life, snow, wind, with all the steps again. 
and also for seismic with the, with the corresponding steps. So all the loads are here. As you can see, it's very easy to import all these loads into ASIP Steel, either from ETABS or from any other analysis software via Excel spreadsheet. A batch design manager will be released soon, which will produce a preliminary design of all the steel-based plates and anchorage in a building just at once. If you like the software, please visit the website www.azipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.